this was a mistake on my behalf. I'm responsible for uh, any expenses that I incur on trips being paid for. Uh, this was an expense that I was unaware of, that I did not know, had not been paid. And when I found that out, one uh, over the course of the last dollar expense, you didn't know about a forty-one thousand dollar expense. How is that even possible? Stunning revelations as Finance Minister Bill Morneau admits to taking We Charity trips to Kenya and Ecuador, trips that he didn't fully pay for until now. In review of our records, I uh, understood that there was no charge for these uh, travel exp or these expenses at the uh, at the We facilities. And once I found that out, I endeavored to repay that. And of course, it was a mistake on my part, which I take full responsibility for. The trips happened in 2017, and Morno says he thought the costs had been paid. But Morno says he reviewed his records and found over $41,000 was still unaccounted for. The finance minister says he's now paid the money back, but the admission left opposition members stunned. The average Canadian living in Red Deer or Halifax that goes on a trip would notice if there was a say a $400 expense that they didn't pay, maybe a hotel room for a couple of nights that never got charged them, and they paid immediately. But you're telling me that on this obviously very luxurious trip, that $41,000 of expenses happened right under your nose, and you didn't know about it until it suddenly, through an epiphany, came to your attention the very day you were to testify in a parliamentary committee about it. Morno says other expenses for the trip were paid, but these costs were missed. But Pierre Polievre says accepting benefits like this is illegal under the Conflict of Interest Act. Earlier in the day, the committee heard from journalists who have been investigating WE for years. Canada Land's Jesse Brown says, given what he's discovered, it's astonishing that no red flags with WE were raised. This is uh, an organization that had just laid off the majority, hundreds of its workers. Uh, this was an organization that had uh, its, uh, it, the entirety, save one individual of its Canadian board and American boards, either resign or were replaced. Uh, this is an organization uh, that was in breach of its bank covenants, and this is an organization that was divesting from uh, some of its international development projects. Uh, and it was an organization that at the best of times was used to running um, $60 million in that range uh, of programming. Uh, this would be more than 10 times that. So those are the facts. And there's been another major development in this case. The Prime Minister's office now says Justin Trudeau is available to testify before the Finance Committee on the WE deal, with a date still to be determined. In Ottawa, Shao Lee Lee, City News.